Hi everyone, this is the Twin Flame Self Love Corner. This is for the week of December 24th of 2018. So I've been doing this um, for months now and um, this is, I'm using these cards. Um, it's by, these cards are by Debbie, Debbie Ford right here, this card right here um, by Debbie Ford. Um, it's a series, it's a program, a self-love, self-help program that's called The Best Year of Your Life. And the program contains... Um, 52 cards, one for each week of the year as a focus. And, but I treat these cards like I would any tarot deck. And I actually, um, in my local bookstore, these were supposed to be, um, these cards were supposed to be in the self-help section of the bookstore, but they were actually in the tarot card section of the books of the bookstore. So I knew it was, um, confirmation to go ahead and move forward with this. But, um, I treat, like I said, I treat these cards like I would any tarot deck and I shuffle and ask the divine for the focus for each week. I will say that this, this is the folk, the card that came out this week is the admit you're wrong. Okay. Um, this card has come out a couple of times before I want to say, and, um, this is just confirmation that there's, there's for a specific, um, you got, you know, twins either for folks out there, that there's this is needing to be worked through. I feel like this is tied to a lot of ego um, and through the journey, your ego is stripped away. But I feel like there's a person that's been, there's a lot of ego and a lot of stubbornness. And I actually did clarify this card, this submit your wrong card and ask why did this card keep coming? Why does it come out again? And the card that came out was surrender. Okay. And this is a card right here. This surrender card is, it's, it's, uh, it, it also reminds me, I don't know if y'all are familiar with the romance angel Oracle cards, but that let go of control issues, because I feel like we've got, we've got some folks here that who this is, who this, this is really, this is for, um, we've got some folks that they do due to whatever conflict that occurred in the past. They're not letting it go and not going ahead. And that's their being guided to go ahead and come forth and to start a reconciliation. OK, but this is the I'm going to go ahead and read. There's a summary on the front of this card. This is admit you're wrong. I'll read the front of the card. There is a um, self-love assignment that's also on the back of this card. OK, I'm going to go ahead and read it. Whenever two people are at odds with one another, it's usually because both people are trying to be right. Sometimes we defend our positions even when they make us miserable because we just can't bear to admit that we're wrong. Our need to be right robs us of intimacy and fulfillment in our personal relationships and perpetuates our feelings of discontent. This week, notice what your need to be right costs you in terms of energy, intimacy, and peace of mind. Ask yourself, what's more important, being right or being happy? Okay. And there's a self-love assignment that's at the back. Allow yourself to see one thing you've been fighting to be right about. Are you holding a position with someone that's causing you stress or aggravation? Have you been blaming someone else for your current state of affairs? Your assignment this week is to make the powerful choice to take responsibility for the role you played in the creation of this situation. Even if you feel you can justify your position, notice how much freedom, peace, and contentment you have when you let it go. Okay? Admit you're wrong. Okay. Um, so I also, when I, I pull this card and then I pull, um, an associated tarot card spread for the card, I also pull an Archangel, uh, Raphael Oracle card. And I'll talk about that in just a moment, but this is a specific, this is for some folks out there. This is a specific, I feel divine masculine that's being guided to do this because I feel this divine masculine has been very stubborn and I feel the divine has been really working with this because the divine works with us. Um, this divine master could have probably had a tower moment after tower moment in terms of moving them. And, but they're feeling there's, there's a, there's an energy here of stubbornness and energy of ego still. And that ego, um, the divine, like through, through the journey in the process, your twin is showing you that you're, you know, your your that ego and you, and you, that ego is completely stripped away. And that's what's, that's what's happening here. But I still feel this divine masculine is still, there's that they're needing to overcome, um, I feel like an obstacle and a challenge of really just completely letting it go. 
stop controlling an issue and going ahead and returning to this divine feminine, okay? Because that's what this divine masculine is wanting to do. But we've got, you know, there is this conflict right here. We've got the five of wands. Whatever that happened with the conflict, it is really bothering. It's making this divine masculine feel very restricted and bothered by it with the devil here. Okay. These were on each side of the deck after I pulled these cards. And then on the other, on, we also have the five of swords here. So I was feeling, because the five of wands is not as serious conflict. It's not as, it's conflict, but it's not as serious as the five of swords. But the five of swords also took place between this divine masculine and divine feminine. And this is this, this is the seven of swords. As you can see, this person sneaking away. They use the five swords to do that. They use that more serious conflict to sneak away from the connection. And that's what this divine masculine did. And by doing that, it leaves the divine feminine of two minds about the, you know, about um, this divine masculine. But it also what happens is because this is a lose lose energy, just as the five of swords is a lose lose energy. It's because by doing that, by sneaking away, they leave themselves in a state. The person actually doing this leaves themselves in a state of mental conflict because this person is wanting to return now. OK, they're wanting to return and have reconciliation. They're wanting to come back and to send this message here um, with this um, page of cups. This is this would I feel in terms of this and with the admit you're wrong. This is coming back and saying, you know, I'm sorry, I apologize. I love you. I apologize. I'm sorry. That's what this person's being guided to do. But they're they're and they're being moved to do it. Whatever that's stopping or holding them back, whether it is still that ego, whether it is um, also um, fear and some anxiety also due to whatever that happened, you know, you know, with the with leaving a person and also feeling like they've left the you know the divine feminines being in it, left in a state of having that mental conflict after this happened. Um, and the reason I'm feeling this is twins mirror, but I'm feeling that this is divine masculine, uh, that this is happening with is because we've got divine feminine. When I do general readings, when a queen pops up, that's divine feminine energy. You can be male or female embodying that energy. And the same goes with a king. Like if a king pops up, that's divine masculine energy. And you can be male or female embodying that energy. But we've got a queen of pentacles here. So we've got this divine masculine seeing this, this divine feminine in this very stable, grounded place. Okay. This is a queen of pentacles, um, very stable, grounded balances, balances, all things related to the material and the physical realm, whether it's home and career, um, finances, all those things are in balance and seeing a divine feminine as that, and that this divine feminine is their nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Okay. And then wanting to return with the six of cups. Okay. Thinking about even good times, the good times they can have, but also just wanting to return. That's why this, this divine master is being guided to just go ahead, come forward to the divine feminine. I feel like the way things were left, how it was left, it's really on this divine masculine to return to this divine feminine and to apologize. Okay. That's what they're being guided to do in terms of starting that reconciliation process. Just how things were, you know, just how things ended between this divine masculine and divine feminine. Okay. Um, the Archangel Raphael card that came out. Archangel Raphael is an inner is a um, angel called to call on for all parts of healing, all types of healing, whether it's emotional healing, spiritual healing, um, mental he healing, um, physical healing. But this is the, the angel that you can call on for assistance with that. And we have the um, card that came out is ask your body for a message. Um, I do feel like this is that this, this um, divine masculine is really being guided to get, get him, get himself or herself balanced. Come go ahead and return, come back and start the reconciliation because this has really been bothering this person because we have the devil there and they've been feeling very tight and restricted by it. And it's just letting it go, going ahead and just coming forward and saying, I apologize. I'm sorry. Can we start over? Okay. Can we talk? Can we start over? And that's what this, that's what the divine is guiding this divine masculine to do with the divine feminine. But, um, there is an associated prayer with this and it is dear body. Please help me hear your messages. Archangel Raphael, please guide me in honoring and respecting my body's needs. Okay. By doing that, it's like 
I feel like this divine masculine know they like they know that this divine feminine is that is is it for him or her, but they're just it's just them going ahead and being guided to go ahead and come forth and start the reconciliation. Okay, all right, y'all. Okay, that is it. Um, this is again admit you're wrong. All right, y'all have a beautiful week, and um, I am always sending lots of love and light to you all. And please take care. Bye.